This is an animation about islands and peninsulas. The purpose of our investigation was to develop a deeper understanding of how peninsulas and islands form and change and why they change over time. We will explain how they are formed, how they changed, and why peninsulas and islands are the way they are. At the end of the presentation, we hope you get a deeper understanding of peninsulas and islands. I will now explain different types of islands and how they are formed. There are several types of islands, continental islands, oceanic islands, and barrier islands. Oceanic islands have several subcategories, such as volcanic and coral. There are also inland islands, which are islands that are in lakes. A, a volcano island is an island that is formed by a volcano. The lava accumulates and eventually surfaces. Peninsulas are a piece of land that is bordered with water on three sides and a large bridge of sand connecting the peninsula to a larger body of land. Now I will explain to you how peninsulas and islands change. Islands change because of the erosion on the peninsula's neck that can eventually make an island. Because the neck is thin, the peninsula may break away to form an island. The shoreline is eroded by waves and tides, which results in a diminishing landmass. Plants and animals grow bigger to, and produce more animals, which results in plants fading away. Water flooding islands can also change peninsulas and islands. For example, if the water floods inland and destroys plants, and those species that feed on the plants will eventually become extinct or migrate to another nearby island. Seawater can also go into the fresh water inside the island or peninsula and it will make animals living on the island have a hard time living. We hope that you got a better understanding of, of this animation about peninsulas and islands.